Oh, it's horrible out there. Horrible. Right, and I've got to get back on with this. So, you saw me make the pattern, how to do subscribing. Well, I've just cut out the other side of that, which, um, right, so look, there you go. So, that's the other side, and I've put it up against here. This is just so that you guys can see. No, I haven't. I've put it up against there, and I've checked it's all right and how it fits, and, and see those little notches, top and bottom, there and down there. There, so that I can see where the back comes to. The back of this, by the way, bent like a banana. Bent like a banana. Anyhow, I've put that on here. Important thing to do, especially when you've got a piece of wood with an angle on it, and I know that's my forward point, because this is an offcut, but that's what I want. So I've made it clear, I know what's going on. That's the top, that's the back. You have to do this. I have to. Top, top, that goes on there. And the idea of those little flats was so that I could do that and then draw around it. And that's it. So draw around that in a sec without you watching because it'd be trickier with you watching. So there you go. I'll hold that exactly in the right place. And then I can start striking some lines down this front. Right, and I can put these lines on here that's continuing this line through there. I can continue this line from that corner there down so I know what's going on there. And I can continue this one down there. So now I can take these corners off. I can I can plane this down now. So let's I'll get on with it. Right now, look, I'm putting this on a flat surface to show you guys that this is nice and straight, and that edge is nice and straight. This is the important bit. If I'm going to put it over here and work off this fence, I want to make sure that everything that I'm removing from here is parallel all the way down to the fence. So I can bring the blade up. Right, so you can see the blades tilt. Can you see the blades tilted over? Blades tilted over. I'm having a go at this, and you can see what I'm up to already. Now I'm not going to show you how I do it, for the simple reason, it's not, it's, you have to be safe and secure in your using of the soil, and I don't want to show people how to do it just in case they're not very good with the soil, so, Anyhow, basically I'm setting it up to that and then I'm running it down the whole length. Uh, and I'll continue to do that up here and then off there. And then this will just give me a series of little corners to take off. Run the plane down here, run the plane down there. But yeah, I've got to go all the way around there. It's not taking long, that's about five minutes work. So yeah, should be done in this in a bit. Right, here we are. So that's what I've done. And as you can see, it's nearly there, it's not bad. But the really good place to view it is actually here where you can see, I know there's a couple of strips left in, I'll take those out with a chisel. Next bit to do? Well, the next bit is going to be, or do I go down the middle first? But these, look, these are just falling over. Cool, isn't it? But I like it like that, so you've got this sort of shadowy, shadowy look about it so it takes a bit of time on there but if you're only producing one piece i feel it's the better way of doing it it does take a bit of time but if you go for the other method where you have this spinning and you put it through a jig diagonally you have to use so many practice pieces i've got one length this is you know from that staircase so this is it so I'm working on the piece, no practicing, no, it's got to be right first time. And that's what a lot of you guys are going to do. You're not going to have loads of wood lying around that you can just put, and that's wasteful. It's wasteful putting so much wood through a sword just to try and create something that somebody's got on a YouTube video. So let's not do that. Let's do it the slower way and let's get it right. Let's get the plane out. So you might want to see how I'm marking this. So I've got a line there. And I'm trying to hold the pen upright. And this one is. There you go. Right, plane that off. Plane's ready to go.
I'm going to put a line just down here, just down on the, there on that face, so that I can see where I'm coming to. So the reason for chiselling all of that end was to get the shape on the line, on the pen line on the end, so that I'd got something to work down to. So this is, I'm going to have another go at it here. And that just means that I can check, as I'm going along linearly, I can see how close I'm getting to that line. So the blade is the blade is set up so that it's just taken off in a couple of places, just a tiny amount. So I can roll it over just a little bit each time. As you can see, it's taking some nice shavings off. The surface is getting smoother. That's much better. I'm just going to have a bit more cut. So to get a bit more cut, you just tap the iron very slightly. That's enough. Didn't move the first time, but it did the second. That will make it bigger. A lot of difference. I think that's nearly it. I think what I need now is a smaller one to do that bit there. Let's see if I can find a smaller plane. This one looks pretty good. Oh yeah. Not much cut on it. Oh, that's better. I'm just rotating it a little bit. Get in there now. So I'm wondering whether to go over this with a scraper. Right, so there you can see I've got the so let's show you, I've got the basic shape now. There you go. Just need to do some more work on getting rid of some of these grooves. There you go. It's getting there. So I'll carry on with that and get back to you later. But you can see it's looking like a mould. So I'm getting the radius, I'm holding the radius where it's nice, like there. I'm going all the way down with it. Yeah. 
this smaller radius is a bit of a and it sort of sits in a different place at a different angle each time and I'm just trying to make it so that it's it's something like it's looking all right actually so I need to get another scraper and do that nice So I'm just making sure that when I do this, this corner isn't digging into this side of the moulding. So I'm positioning the light so that it should make shadows of the of the faults Now I'm just chiselling in these holes, just so that I can let a piece of oak in, glue it in, put a pad over it, and then I'll take it off in the morning. Just using a scalpel to remove some of the dried glue so that it's not obvious later. That's awful. The extra lighting. <laughs> it's a bit. <laughs> oh, look, look, you can actually see what I'm trying to do. <laughs> 